Barely a month after her famous son's death, Mambinsa's mom, Zamangwini Gumede, died after a short illness. She died at the age of 64 on Sunday night at Wentworth Hospital. The news of her sudden death was confirmed to Daily Sun by Mambinsa's sister, Pinky Gumede. She said that she had visited her during the day. She says, when I left her, she seemed to be fine. She was even telling us jokes and we were all laughing. So when I left her, she was in high spirits and I really thought she was getting better, said Pinky. But this was not the case because hours later, she was summoned back to the hospital. I was about to fall asleep. When I received a call from the hospital, I was told to rush to her bedside because she wanted to see us. When I got there, she was already in drips. She was surrounded by the doctors and nurses trying to assist her. Now that she's gone, I can see she wanted to bid farewell to us. She told me she was old and that she was leaving. She asked if everyone was around and I said yes. She wanted to see Sponge, Mampinch, her son, and I told her he was not around. I could see the sadness in her eyes, but she did not say anything. She just gave us her blessings and we spent a bit of time with her. We then left. At around 10 p.m., I had a call in for Mimi that she has passed on. Pinky said, this is double pain for me. I'm definitely not coping. It's a double sword for me. I lost two important people within a space of three weeks. But what makes things even harder is that we are not financially prepared for this. As far as policies are concerned, Mam Pinch had took care of everything. We are still trying to get things in order, but I guess the time was not on our side. Mampincha's mother had been ill for some time. When Mampincha passed away, she became worse. She couldn't walk by herself. As a result, she had to be physically carried. A few days after Mampincha's funeral, she was admitted to Wentworth Hospital. There's a developing story, guys. We'll definitely update you if there's more stories to come. This is how Twitter reacted to her passing. So much less it is a good thing that Babes apologize to her. Mr. K said the power of forgiveness, Babes would be at peace knowing she reconciled with her world. She was alive. Sarofajo said, I'm glad Babes would do more and my pinchas mom had made peace before she passed on. Those who blame Babes for her death are fools to the core. How is Babes responsible for anything? The mother was sick and got more sicker when my pincha died. Leave Babes alone. She's also hurting. Zigot said, although she was devastated about my pincha's passing, but I feel that babes was in the situation by her behavior, not to mourn for my pincha. This is so sad. PBD said this, a very well-known condition in the medical fraternity, probably exacerbated her to have the stroke she experienced after the passing of her son. She fewer said, Babe Sodomo must be happy. She couldn't even settle her mother in law, hospital bills. Nyamiko said, and sadly, Babe Sodomo didn't make things any better for her. May her soul rest in peace. Former Pope of Group said, It was too much for her. She couldn't handle her son's passing. Ubei said, This woman killed herself. Her evil heart of not accepting Mampincha's choice of wife killed her. She found it hard to face that. She will have to live with the Maguti she never accepted, which this serves as a lesson to all the mother-in-laws out there. Proof Tata said, you're there said, may his soul rest in peace. And Luande said, blaming someone for someone else's death is wild. Guys, let me know what our thoughts are regarding the tweets, comments. My love is real, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Guys, remember to keep your comments civil and respectful. Let's see each other on the next video. May Mama Gunede soul rest in peace. May her family continue to find solace and comfort in the hands of the Lord. Guys, my love is real and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great morning.